Welcome back to the Western Wilds on Farming Simulator 22 for episode 15 with me, Mr. Sealy P. It's later in the day, and you find me up at the store. Uh, it's time to buy our own cedar planter. I am going to go for the Great Plains, you know. I've been having a look, and to be fair, at this point, we have got a few different cedars and planters available to us. Some of the larger size ones are very, very expensive, which it is, you know, they would be in the real world. Of course they would. I've got to watch my pennies. I've got to be careful. Um, I was thinking of get, getting the John Deere 1113 planter, getting the frame and getting two of those. Which I could do. I'm still on an R in, actually. Um, but I think I'm going to go for the Great Plains YP2425. Um, that's being supplied by Adams Kong. Not the planters, is it? And it does everything. So price-wise, I did look at the 1775 NT, 234 grand, um, at 17.8 meters. This one's an 18.2 meter. Uh, two of the 1113s, and that's a nice cheap alternative. That'll put you in at 136 grand. And two of those together will be 15 meters with the frame as well. It won't fold, that's the only downside to that one, is with on the frame it is 15 metres wide and that's it. So, yeah, I looked at the Kinsey at 18.2 metres, again 249 grand. I guess I'm, I could go for the expensive ones because I know I can make the money back. Do something sensible, like go for the Great Plains which does everything. One piece of equipment, one hit. But I have used it on previous Let's Plays quite a lot. I really do like it because it's very versatile. It does everything. 5,800 litre, 5, litre seed tank. You know, it's a no-brainer. No, I'm going with that. I'm going to... Trailer or three point... I think I'm going to go... Oh, I can never remember which way round these are. One of them gives you a better turning radius, and I can never remember which one it is. I think it's that. 142,000. Sorry for the dithering. Um, so, we can now do our seed. And our planting. My big field that we prepped... And it has been prepped, I have limed and I have fertilised it. Until we're at a point where we can prepare our own seed, I'm still buying seed, so let's open the covers. Let's go and buy our seed for this. Um, what I have also done off camera is over at our um, logging area, where I've already logged. That's not too bad, is it? Uh, oh, so I've set on corn already. Yeah, where I've already logged. I have prepared two fields and we're going to be, so it's going to be a multi-crop episode, we're going to be proper farming, not just production chain stuff today, um, although uh, I have still got my I've got pallets running, I've turned that back on again because of the fact I wasn't sure what I was going to buy and obviously my money's gone down, I was sitting on 800,000 now I'm down to 572 uh, and I'm still worried that tomorrow or maybe, the, say tomorrow, April or maybe even May I'm going to need to buy my harvester, that's still in the back of my mind. So, yeah, and I've also got my wood pellets turned on it. I had turned them both off. Wood pellets and furniture are both processing as well. The gold is still chugging away. Oh, yeah, that reminds me. Oh, well, I'll show you when I get over there. When we go over to the next step. I'm going to be putting in the vineyards today. I'm going to put in the grapes. We've got a cheap alternative for vineyards. So we're going to be doing the cheap alternative for vineyards, getting those in. And we're going to be putting something else in, using a... a very different, and again, it depends on the thumbnail. I haven't, at the point of doing this, I haven't decided on thumbnail yet, so we'll see how that pans out. Um, 
so yeah this is all going to be corn will I silage some of it I don't know the corn I can use for all sorts of stuff to be fair I'm also looking at what I'm going to do with regard to uh, grain and am I going to produce flour I thought about that there's the grain mill plus I've been looking at to place somewhere on the map probably actually where, where in the central section where I'm, I send, tend to be putting everything at the moment which I, I quite like you've still got to travel to get to it um, we've still got sawmill south in the gas station we've got sawmill north in the main store and we're still going out to the east for the methane and gold and stuff we're going out to the west for the train yard and selling so we're kind of we are moving around the map a bit we're not just staying in one location so the Grain Mill Plus is the one that does cracked corn and corn mill. I thought we might give that a go. So this as well, this works perfectly. Big old cornfield. It gives me a few different options for doing um, the, the cereal at our food factory, cereal factory. Hence doing grapes as well. We've got honey on the go, having some corn, and then we'll have to do a field of oats. But we can, yeah, I'm, I'm just kind of looking at all different options and trying to utilise all different crops at the moment we've got sugar beet barley wheat potato sunflower that we're, we're doing at the moment although the potato and sunflower is slightly unconventional I'm also thinking uh, my potato production is great and I'm loving it um, but I was thinking of using you know the seed potato um, plant where you can wash them and you get grades them so you can get the higher the premium quality ones and you can bag them since I'm doing potatoes anyway so yeah but then do I do a field of potatoes or do I just carry on with what I'm doing with the greenhouses just add a couple more greenhouses in because I'm just thinking when I get to a point my sugar beets ready my sugar beet will be going to the biogas plant um, if I get to a point where I've got manure going, which again, that's something I've got on the back burner, I'm thinking about move, moving ahead. Um, manure can go to the biogas plant, so I'm still going to be producing methane, that's not a problem. But I can switch my potato usage from taking the potatoes every, every month over to the biogas plant and taking the potatoes to either my food factory for doing crisps or, um, yeah doing the, the seed potato plant so i'm thinking that plot next to the farm buying that maybe having the seed potato plant on that it'll mean cutting a few trees back not too many i don't want to go mad um i'm oh, talking to trees again we'll talk about that in a little while when we get over there because um sometimes i'm try and open that just give myself a bit of a buffer for turning around and then we can get the work going now these fields like i say they were prepped because i cut the grass then i then i plowed i limed so having cut the grass and then ploughed, we already had one fertiliser state. So after liming, I fertilised again. So pretty much the fields that I'm planting on straight away are good to go, double fertilisation state already. It's when I re-prep them after we've done our first harvests, which I haven't got to yet. What episode are we on now? 14? 14, 14, we're not even on 15, are we? Just trying to think. Um, yeah, episode 15, I haven't done a harvest yet. Which is brilliant. It's a testament to all the stuff you can do. It's a testament to all the, you know, I, I'm just, yeah, we've got all the stuff here. It's all growing. We're, we're rolling through the months. We just haven't actually got to do one yet. Hang on. Got sidetracked. Too busy talking. Should really lift that, shouldn't um, Yeah. And it's funny, though, isn't it, how you get to a big field like this. And an 18.2 metre planter, cedar. I'm going to say, I'm going to say cedar or planter. I, I do that a lot, and I know it annoys people. Sorry. <laughs> um, seems very small. <laughs> I suppose it's like when you see ships, you know, in harbours and stuff like that, and they look huge. And then you see a shot of a, a ship on the ocean, and you think, that's just a blip. It's a blip in a massive expanse, and it's that kind of thing, isn't it? Um, we will have a sea of corn growing. So, yeah. Um, I still haven't even thought about cotton. I suppose we could do cotton at some point. We buy a massive plot of this and do a load of cotton. We should get a load of cotton bales. Um, sheep I am definitely going to be doing, and we can get some fabric going. Again, we can get that side of things uh, rocking and rolling. So when we get cows, then there's, there's, there's the dairy side of things um, because part of the um, packing plant, the dairy you can buy in that, you can do soy milk. So we can do soybeans on the field and we can get some soy milk going, which is it's just a slightly different twist on the dairy stuff I did already on Carmsden. 
So I'm kind of, um, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to kind of open up the options to try as much different stuff as, as we can, really. Um, I'm hoping this Let's Play goes on, you know, a lot of my Let's Plays, I kind of get to 30 episodes, 20 episodes. I know on FS19, I had some that went up to 40. I want this one to be a 50, 60 episode job, you know? I think the only time I ever did that was on... Oh, man, my mind's gone blank. Oh, uh, Goldcrest Valley. When Goldcrest Valley came out, um, and that was the main map on 17, wasn't it? 17, yeah. And I think that was a 52 episode. I mean, that was before I had many subscribers. I didn't have many views or viewers, and I just chunked away. I just I was loving it. And it was a long time before we got a um, console. Then we didn't have... That was the first time for mods on FS17. Uh, so it took a while, and I think it was... Um, Again, mine's gone blank. It'll come to me. Might, might do an editing. Um, the first map uh, that came out took a while. The first modded map took a while. So I played on Goldcrest for ages, you know. It was a new map. We had mods. It was all very exciting. New stuff was coming out, you know. Absolutely wonderful. So what I will do is I'm going to let this go on a worker. Um, so we're getting our coin in the ground. I'm just going to double check what I was saying. <laughs> it would be just like me to be wrong. But I'm pretty sure I am. Yeah, we've got some spots there. We, we could go over it again. I'm happy with that for a first harvest. We'll be absolutely fine. So, we'll get that going. This just... I don't regret this purchase at all. I really don't. Um, I do appreciate when people send uh, messages and comments and people suggest other things. I know people often start with, you should have. Why? I could have, is the better way of putting it. I could have chosen to use this, 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 and this. I should have intimates, you know, I'm being told I've done something wrong kind of thing. Um, and again, each to their own. Yeah, there are tons of mods. I, I, I could have used so many different things for so many different procedures, productions. You know, some people message say, how do you thought about? And that's, I like that, you know. And I'll often, you know, had I thought about it, sometimes I think, oh, you know what, I hadn't. Um, there's a few people that message me, and it's that great minds think alike thing. Like I said, I've already got ideas in my head. I've already got a kind of a list of things I want to achieve. And I have people message me and say, um, if you're going to do so and so, how do you thought about blah blah blah? And often I message back and go, already on it. It's already on my list. I've already thought about. You know, that's going to be coming. You know, and I don't like that. Actually, I might do another strip this end just to give me a bit better turning room. Um, so yeah, it's it's cool when that happens. So what we're going to do is head over to where the logging is, um, and I'm going to show you what we're doing, and we're also going to get some. Uh, we're going to get our vineyard in there. And something else. Okay, why is that not? There we go. And then I'll just set it going up the other way. I just thought, well, hard work while I'm talking. Um, so yeah, we'll go over to the farm. Oh yeah, I bought um, off camera. What did I buy? I was I sold the other mower, the um, self-propelled, the John Deere mower, um, because I bought my mowing setup. And I also bought, I've got the, oh, what's it called? It's the something 7000, isn't it? It's the something, the Lizard AD 7000, the one by Langrio Modding, that I'm using for my fertilising, 7000 litre, 42 metre lime or fertiliser spreader. Well, I was switching backwards and forwards between the two, and because a lot of these fields are quite big, when I'm prepping them and I'm doing lime then fertilising, I thought, you know what, we've got a bit of money, it would make sense to buy, it's another reason why the money's dropped quite a lot, it would make sense to buy um, something to lime separately to fertilising. Oh yeah, that which brings me on to also what I'm going to do today is something that's going to aid us with our lime. It's something I used, oh, I had two of them running on Carmston, and I don't know why I hadn't thought about putting one in already. But as soon as we've got the um, we've got Stuart's bowl with our kind of quarry, I'm going to put in one of the lime productions. So we can put our rocks, we can put rocks into it and produce lime. 
once I've produced a whole load of lime, I'll bring it over here and store it, and then we can sell lime. So, yeah, I don't know why I hadn't thought about doing that before. So we'll get a rock crusher in as well. So here at the farm, I've put in a jet wash too. Um, and this is where things get a little bit more scary as well. Is when you jet wash your vehicles when they're filthy, is that's when you realise just how chipped and damaged the paintwork is and how much you've used them. <laughs> because I really have. Yeah, so I've gone for this one. We've got that one is the one I was using and bouncing backwards and forwards. Um, the Lizard AD7000. But what I've gone for is the, uh, it's the Amazon ZG TS10001-2. Um, that's by Fib7. That's an 18,500 litre. Uh, and that's just lime. So I'm going to use that first size of that for lime. Good to go. Um, what else did we do? Oh, yeah. So the bit of ground that I'm going to take you to momentarily, I mowed first. Now, it was patchy because it was woodland where I'd cut all the trees down. So it was patchy. That being said... We've now got in storage grass. We're over 1 million litres. We were about 850,000 litres and it's chugging away. I got about 200 and something thousand litres just over. Um, no, just under. Off of that area where I've been doing my logging. And I thought I'll bring it over here, stick it in again. Like I said, that can chug away and produce silage. But I can come and take grass out at any point. So when we do sheep, I just thought if I can keep building it up and put it in here. Um, I've then got food for sheep. I haven't got to worry. So pick up, um, because vines, I don't have to worry. And then we will grab the John Deere for... Oh, no, was I going to cultivate? Hmm. To give it a, a better look, a further, like the seed bed. I know I've ploughed. I don't technically need to cultivate. I'm just thinking for the look of things. What cultivators do we have on hand? I mean, I want a fairly decent sized one, one that's not going to break the bank. What's that one? 12.2 metre. How much is that to lease? 5,000. I didn't really think of that. Well, these ones are really cheap. 8 metre cultivator. It's going to take a little while. I should have looked at cultivator, shouldn't I? I'm going to check the brochure. Be back with you momentarily. Okay, back to the brochure. New in stock. <laughs> um, so the ones I was looking at was that the PB. And yeah, I've been looking. Um, you know, there aren't unless you go mega high horsepower. There aren't any huge ones. I could switch out and use one of these at 14 meters. That one's a 12.2. Like again, 375 horsepower. Um, I mean, that says 300 horsepower. I don't know if it's going to pull it, actually. That's a 9.4 metre for 11 grand. Now, I don't necessarily need to buy one. So what I might do is just lease it. 561. We'll lease that. Oh, no, I just realised, actually, what I can do, um, because that's hydraulic, not PTO. Um, I was going to use the John Deere, but I might use the pickup. <laughs> It'll probably do it a lot quicker. I'll go and get it with the pickup. I know I'm using the pickup quite a lot. And that's the, the, the problem, it's, it's a blessing and a curse. It's um, when you get a vehicle that is very utilitarian and, it, and it's um, also the Swiss Army knife of vehicles kind of thing. Um, when it runs fast, got high horsepower, various different backs and equipment and stuff you can put on it. I find myself using it for a lot of jobs, which is great because that's, you know, you haven't got to have 10 different bits of machinery you can have one vehicle with all the various different backs that's the kind of point of it but um i then find i'm using this the detriment of some of my tractors other than the class of course the john deere i haven't used that much recently but then i haven't been doing any of the farm work like planting and plowing that kind of stuff um I'm still going to sell the Fiat because it's very slow and get something a little bit faster for doing my fertiliser. Like I said, that's going to be my fertiliser and lime vehicle. So I'm probably going to get something. I was thinking one of the, um, the old fence. Is it the 51? I'm sure that's like a 30 mile an hour. A lot of them are that, that in the smaller tractor category are around... I want to say they're around 24, 26 mile an hour. I'm sure that one goes to 31. So we could maybe, it's not, it's not going to hook the hydraulics up, is it? And that's why it's a little bit 
Dodge unit, I suppose, really, using the, the pickup for this. But it, I can get it to and from a lot quicker. Maybe I should use the John Deere, just because I haven't used it in a while. And I'm feeling bad, you know. But what I'll do, I'll get over there, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. With what I'm going to do there, what the plan is. Um, so by the end of this episode, I want to have that field planted with corn, which that's going to be almost done you know, fairly soon. We bought our new planter, which is great. Um, but what I want to do down here is I want to get grapevines done. The mystery crop, depending again what I've put as my thumbnail. Um, and I want to get the debris crusher in, the rock crusher in, down by the quarry, so we can get some lime production done. Again, I want to try and make myself as self-sufficient as I can be, if that's at all possible. You can see the fields behind that I've cleared out. I've done a lot more forestry than I thought I had. Um, that's what I was going to say. We'll have a look at... Um... So when I bought this plot, the trees were up this end. I've, I've done a fair bit. I'm, I'm very pleased with myself. Um, when I say that, I'm very pleased with myself, if we go down and we look at our stats... Um... Trees cut down, we're up to 305. I can't remember the last time I gave you an update. It was 200 and something, wasn't it? Uh, 305 now. So we have been doing a fair bit. So this plot here, I want for my vines. I ploughed it all out because initially I wasn't sure what I was going to put in it. Um, let's try it with the pickup and uh, see how we go. Because I don't know if this will pull it faster. Some, some implements it does. Some influence it pulls at the speed of the pickup. Yeah, we're going way beyond what it can normally cultivate at. So if you use the pickup for this, ploughs, that kind of stuff, it generally will run a lot faster. I might do both plots actually. Oh no, I don't need to do the other plot because I'm going to put something in there. That's fine, I can leave that as it is ploughed. But I want a, a better kind of seed bed. So if I don't get my vines in perfectly straight or neat, it's not going to look as awful. <laughs> I say that. So let's cultivate this. Um, what I will then do is get another worker, hopefully, if it will run it, cultivating this. And while I've got, once I've got a couple of strips in, I'm going to start putting the vines in. Uh, and like I said, I'm using the cheap vines. I don't want to be spending fortune. But then I've still got a big area here. So this is going to be a lot of vineyard. Actually, I probably need to move that. I moved it out of the way initially of, of the ploughing, but it didn't really... Uh... I'm going to be doing more logging here, of course I am, because I'm going to need more lumber to supply my uh, my wood pellet furniture, pallet production, all of that. So let's move that out of the way. I don't know if it's turned around, if it's got enough room. Or whether I need to put a strip in. I'm going to hop out, I'm going to leave that to cultivate. So what we should have now is if we go to our production and we go to orchards. This is orchids, my eyesight's terrible. Um, so rather than 105, it's 10. Um, all mods, or everything I'm using in the description, I say all, the first couple of episodes, some of the stuff I used and got rid of fairly quickly, I didn't put in, and I do apologise for that. But everything else, as I'm using it, I'm adding it onto the bottom of the list. So what we should have, then, is from here, he says, put the first one in there. We'll drag that the full length, hopefully we'll get it straight. So how much is it going to cost me for one full length on the vine? Is that straight? As long as the next one lines up with it. Uh, we'll go to about there. Okay. And as I say, I'm, I am cultivating, but because it puts the ground in for you, that's actually not as bad as I thought it was going to be. These are going to be very productive. I'm happy with that. Do I move over at all? No, that's fine. Over. No, it's too far. Cool. So, um, yeah. I'm going to chuck in a, a whole load of these. Now, I'm probably then going to need to get some specific grape gear. Um, as it stands at the moment, this field is um, ploughed, limed, and fertilised. Um, again, should be to two fertilising states, so I shouldn't have to worry too much about... Um, 
I just think how much this, this would be costing me if I wasn't using this. Um, yeah, it's two fertilizer sets. So this time round, the grapes should be absolutely no problem at all. But I want to get these through to um, fruition, which I did on Carmsden, but I just didn't have enough put down. I didn't really do enough. Um, I also want to get to the point where I get to use the the, uh, the pruning thing. What's it called? It's um, along those lines, isn't it? It might be pruning. And I'm going to fill... Oh, actually, I'm just thinking now. Mind you, I'm doing my pallet production and all that. I'm going to do the whole lot, you know. I'm going to. I'm, this is going to be a massive vineyard. Mahusive vineyard we're going to put in. We're going to have to mulch when the grass grows, but... So, anyway, um, I'm going to catch up with the cultivator in a moment. And actually, looking at the way this is going down, I probably didn't need to cultivate. I would have been all right on the ploughed bit. Uh, I might have to tidy a couple of the ends up with a bit of landscaping, maybe, but that's all right. Um, there we go. Uh, yeah, so I'll see you when this is all laid. Um, at 2,400 per strip-ish. Hang on, no. It's not going to break the bank. Um, and we should have yeah, loads and loads and loads when this comes around to harvest, which is brilliant. That's exactly what we need if we're going to be doing raisins, which means we're going to need a great processing plant as well at some point, which I haven't used yet either. Um, and then we'll, we'll, yeah, we'll chug away. And at some point, hopefully, we'll get some cereal made too. The plot next to me is going to be for something else. I have to say, I'm very happy with how this has worked out. Interestingly, we got a very straight line here. It ran all the way up until I got to the very end. And it said I didn't own the land. It wouldn't let me put the last little bit in. So this one's a little bit shorter than all the others. But this is Mega Vineyard. This is the biggest I've done by far since the game released. So looking forward to this immensely. Um, next field over? Well, let's wait and see. <laughs> I say these don't need anything now. Next time around they will. They're going to need mulching uh, when the grass grows a little bit. So we'll get out of here. I'm going to have to get a, <laughs> a mulcher that works. I know I had all sorts of problems, didn't I, when I was on um, Carmston. I didn't quite get it right, did I? Um, but while we're down here, what I am going to do is whiz down to the quarry. And we're going to get one of the rock crushers delivered installed and then i can get that going here this is going to require some water um uh, there's a water point down here or not i'll just go and get the water back for this or my little water tanker whichever way around it doesn't really matter so what we'll do is probably i suppose i could put it into the alcove here couldn't i or across the alcove or something like that let's do that shall we And there we go. Farm dog loves a rock crusher. <laughs> As you can tell. So, we're in. We've got a rock crusher. We're going to need water. I need to bring that over. But what I can do, I can certainly get a couple of loads in here straight away. I can't remember what the capacity of this was, actually. Um, oh, no. It was... Oh, I, I can't remember. Off the top of my head. Um, but I'll get that rocking and roll. <laughs> That was unintentional. Unintentional pun. Apologies for that. Um, let's get the first load in. I still, I'm still leasing this. I still haven't bought it. I need to, I need to buy one. So what I need to do is, I'll get a load of productions running. Talking of productions running, <laughs> the um, my pallet production. I said I've got pallet production on. Got my wood pellets on. Got my furniture on. I forgot that I'd left the um, the wood pallets. Um, sorry, planks the planks um, pallets going and um, I'm now sitting on 16 pallets out in the open and 59,000 litres of pallets of pallets, planks ready to go so yeah that was a bit of a mistake I could just tip it in the front there but I'll, I'll go for it um, yeah I can't believe I did that so yeah we've got a load of planks to sell um, mind you yeah, I need the money the money will build up 
So what I'll probably do is buy one of these because I'm finding this incredibly useful. I've been using this for logging as well, um, for moving logs and stuff about. And yeah, it's just a very useful bit of kit. Um, there are other wheel loaders, but I just like the size of the bucket on this one. And unfortunately, because I thought, well, I could get a different wheel loader and use this bucket, but I don't think the bucket works on the other wheel loaders, which is a pity. But um, yeah, that's the case. Right, so first three jobs in. We bought our planter. Corn is done. That's planted. That's in. Vineyard is done. That's in. Rock crusher. That's in. Um, admittedly, I just need water for this, and then I can have that actually running as a production. I'm going to have it producing lime. Actually, it's a good point. I need to set it on... Um, not distributing or selling. I want it. I probably use set on storing, isn't it? Let's have a quick look. Uh, yes, yeah, set on storing. So once that's full of lime, I'll come and collect the lime, put it in storage up at the main farm. Then I can switch that again if I put a load of uh, rocks in to selling, and we can make a bit of money from the lime. So again, why not? I've got the quarry here. Kind of. I don't know why I didn't think of putting it in the first place, but. So, next job then, up to the main store. I'm going to be using the little John Deere. I say the little John Deere, it's not that little, is it? Um, we'll be using the John Deere. And um, we're going to be using a different, a very different seeding, planting method for doing a particular job. So, uh, again, I, I know I'm being cryptic now, and, you know, you probably know. <laughs> so. You're probably watching and thinking, why has he been all, all cryptic and weird about it? We already know. So, I'm going to set up the store in a moment. So, we're up at the store. We're with our lovely John Deere. Uh, what was it? 4955, I think we went forward to me. I can just about see it under there. And this rather unorthodox piece of equipment this is the Incrima GL860 compactor but it's not this is the GL860 multi-planter this will put into the ground potatoes sugar beet or poplars which we're going to be doing we're going to put some poplar in the ground not some uh, sorry not sugar beet sugar cane uh, we're going to do poplar um, because I'm doing a lot of forestry stuff I'm doing stuff with wood chips I thought you know what poplars we'll stick some poplars in the ground we can do a poplar harvest at some point um this makes putting poplars into the ground I mean I only looked at this when it came out I haven't really used it so you know what let's give it a run out and see um if you're going to buy one for doing your potato planting anyway why not get the one that does sugarcane and poplar as well because sugarcane can be a pain unless you again it is unorthodox. It's not realistic. It does say it's not. But again, I just want to try stuff out. I want to give it a go and see how it works. Uh, so what we do need to buy are some poplar pallets. Um, not too expensive. I don't know how many. It's 2,000 litres. Um, two, three, four. That's 8,000. Let's do that first. Um, it doesn't just require regular seed. Oh, tell me it doesn't require regular seed. I just spent that on poplars. I thought it would just... Hmm, okay. That's... I can't remember from when I used this. Do I need to unfold it? Oh, no. I better just go and buy seed, don't I? It's because it takes potatoes, if you want to do potatoes, you can do seed or potatoes. And I thought well, it would be that, won't it? But Schoolboy error. It's because I'm so used to buying poplars when I do poplars. What am I going to do with those? Unless I pick them up. I don't know if these will pick up, will they? I need to try that first, don't I, before I do anything else. So I don't want to waste them. If I can lift them up and it puts them in, great. If it doesn't, I'm going to have to come just buy from there, I think. 
Okay, I'm going to go and grab the grab the telehandler. Leave her to the rescue. Hopefully, <laughs> this is another one that when I washed it because it was looking horrendous, I put some fuel in it. Um, again, chips, dings, dents. It's, yeah, it's, it's battle scarred. This thing's 14.4 hours on it. <laughs> I, I use it. I absolutely use it. It's brilliant. Um, let's see. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Very nice. No. Ew, no. Okay, well, I thought I'd better try. I mean, it wasn't expensive, was it? But it's just that kind of frustration. those particular pallets. Right, let me see if I can sell one of these. Can I make the money back? <laughs> Probably not. Please buy my poppers. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, well that's a waste. I have to put those to one side then and they'll stay there forever now. I'll take this over then and I assume I'll just put seeds in it. So it's probably just then potatoes that you can do seed or potato. So I wonder if it will still let me do it closed. It always used to. Like I say, this should, this should just make putting the poppers in the ground a lot easier. I've always loved the way, I, I know I've said it so many times, how this opens and closes and whatnot, but right, let's try, shall we? Oh, okay. So weirdly, sixteen thousand liters. We've got poplar. So yeah, all right. We'll see how this goes into the ground. I'm curious now. But we are in the mighty John Deere, so I'm happy about that. This is going to be a bit of a drive down. Uh, probably going to just walk up across country, I think. Hopefully this isn't too wide. And let's find a gap that I know we can get through. Go down over the bridge. And let's get some poplars planted. So yeah, proper multi-crop episode. Getting loads of different stuff in. Some slightly more different things than I'm used to. Um, I'm a bit worried that I'm looking behind me in that rear view mirror and that's looking like potatoes sitting on there. I've definitely got it set on poplars. That should came. That's potato. That's poplar. Maybe it's just the, the, the animation. <laughs> Seeds in the back. Poplars to be planted and potatoes in the thing. I, I don't know. <laughs> We shall see, won't we? Hey, I'm all for trying the weird and wonderful. Doesn't matter, does it? If it works, I like it. I like when well, it's quirky, but it's different. I always that when I do my mod reviews, you know? If something stands out for a particular reason, it doesn't have to be realistic. It doesn't have to be real world. It doesn't have to be die-hard absolute farming. For me, often the things that stand out more are the quirky things, or the things that are die-hard farming that we've never come across, that no one's ever modded before, we've never had in-game before. Those are the things that really pique my interest. I do like that. So uh, this is one of those things. So, past our glorious, magnificent vineyard. It's not Martha's, it's mine. Let's open it up. And again, with this, I can't remember how this goes into the ground, whether it just seeds like a regular seeder or whether it actually puts like the poplar that we're used to seeing when you plant. I 
I can't remember. But we're about to find out, aren't we? We might have to fill up again, but... Right, let's turn it on. Um, okay. The same pop that it's doing... I'm really worried. Oh, it's this crop type poplar. <laughs> I'm looking thinking, please don't be potato. Please don't be potato. Crop type poplar. Well, well, I guess I'll come and roll it afterwards as well. That's a bit underwhelming. I was hoping it was. I'm sure I might have said that one. The, the, uh, the mod review, but we're we're um. Yeah, it, um, I don't know what to say really. Well, it's working, and we're certainly putting poplars in much. We will be putting them in much quicker than it normally takes to do poplars. Uh, how long the seed will last, I don't know. It's going to be a fair sized field of it as well. I mean, not huge amounts, but it's going to be enough that we can do a fairly decent harvest and get some wood chips. I'm probably going to use the, um, is it the Pop 6X header as well? That'll make harvesting it a lot quicker too. Uh, so at some sort of point, I guess we can buy ourselves a forage harvester. Um, if we've got all that corn as well, we could do some forage work, couldn't we? Interesting I didn't have to turn this on. It's just lowering it and the way it goes. It's a bit different, isn't it? There he is. thinking this is where if I can get a worker going I can probably whiz off and get the water for the rock um, for the lime production the rock crusher Okay. I would say we've been pretty productive so far. Actually, it's not using the seed anywhere near the... But I thought it would use loads to put poplar in the ground. I mean, again... It's showing poplar bottom right, it's saying poplar on the ground, I'm still, until it actually grows, until it starts to grow, I'm, I'm still, I'm dubious, but, hey, if I get potatoes, I get potatoes, it doesn't matter, I'll use the potatoes, it's, it, either way, and the same with sugarcane, if sugarcane came up out of the ground, I'd use the sugarcane, it really doesn't matter. Right then, let's get that going. And, uh, right, go and get the pickup. I think I'll have the water back over at the gold. Uh, I think I, did, I need to put some more methane in at the gold point. Daftly, I got rid of the smaller. It's all well and good if I'm going to do like 50,000 litres of methane, take it to sell or make a lot of money. If I'm just topping up the gold production, I only need the small tank. Actually, you know what? I, I think I might just go back and, and... I sold it and I shouldn't have done, really. Um, where are we? that small one because it was perfect 
Yeah, I'll buy it back. It makes more sense. And I can use... Well, I've got the second pickup as well. I guess I could use that. Um, so, water down to here, and then I'll... Uh, yeah, I need to put some more methane in the gold production as well. And I think we'll be pretty much done. I mean, we... I've put in a low, I mean, a ton of hours off off screen to do all the prep work and all the rest. Um, the time it took me to make sure I cleared all the stumps, which I had done, mow it, wind row it, uh, low uh, forage wagon, collect it, take it over, then plow it, lime it, fertilise it. It took a bit of time off camera, but I wanted to be at this point. I didn't want to spend an episode just doing ploughing, and you know, I've done some ploughing. I've done it on previous episodes and things. I wanted to get some more done, but now we're yeah, vineyards and poplars. Cool. And a massive field of corn. On the way down then, I filled up the tanker. I'm going to just double check, make sure it's going fine over here. Seems to be. Lovely. I probably could have made this trip a bit narrower, actually, thinking about it. Has got more fields, but that's all right. I can always extend it after the first harvest or something. Once I've done some more logging, I can keep going to the end of this plot, I guess, with the poplars if I wanted to, or I could put a different crop in the bottom sections. I've three fields on this bit. I'm still incredibly pleased with myself. I don't know why. <laughs> very smug <laughs> very pleased with myself about that um, my skids loader over here I left my skids load there because it seems to be kind of randomly placed because I've got my measuring stick here that one's seven meters long so when I get those big old like uh, the, the ones that the harvester can't cut um, I'll knock those down and I'll use that so I get seven meter cuts as accurate as I possibly can um, I either put it on the tally handler grab it with the tally handler and then just go along the log or just move it by hand and it just make sure I get seven meter cuts as I go. So it, it works uh, for what I need it to. That's the main thing. I haven't filled this up yet. I think we're on about 60,000 litres, something like that. So we'll put some water in as well. Okay, that should be going. I think that's in the way. Let's move that away. There we go. Let's put that in. Click on here. Yeah, I'm about halfway there for my, my stones, but I can get this producing straight away. So let's get some lime being made. That way, when my fields come round for redoing again, the lime's not mega expensive, to be fair, but at least I can produce my own, store a load, and then, like I say, I can sell some. So I've got the rock here. I've only had to add some water to it. And, uh, and then we can make a bit of money too. So, uh, all good. I'll come back and top up the rest of the stones later on. As far as it goes, that's the end of this episode. Um, as I said, new planter. Corn in the ground. I, off camera, I did buy the new fertiliser spreader. Rock crusher. Vineyard. Poplars. Using some slightly different gear with the multi-planter by Tethys Saturn. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this episode, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.